guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'll show you guys how to create this makeup look and I created it using the Kylie Cosmetics Vacation Edition collection. Firstly I just want to say can we just take a look at this packaging. Like everything is so beautiful in this packaging. Just look at how pretty that is. Like the packaging she did an amazing job with this collection. I feel like this collection has my favorite packaging. I just love the nude and the gold. I think it looks so good. And if you like this video please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And just let me know in the comments down below where you are from because I just really want to know where you guys are from. And yeah, so if you want to hear my mini reviews on the products I use in this video, then stay tuned to the end of the video. And if you just want to learn how to create this makeup look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I've just done my brows off camera because I already have a brow tutorial on my channel where I show you guys how I always just fill in my eyebrows and that's always linked down below in the description box. And then I just went ahead and primed my eyelids for the eyeshadow and I just used a concealer and my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. So for this eye look, I'll of course be going in with the Take Me On Vacation Eyeshadow Palette by Kylie Cosmetics. And can we just talk about the colors of this packaging? It's so pretty. It's got the shade names on the back. And then this is just what the shades look like. And it comes with a little brush down here. And it's just a two-sided brush that you can use in the crease. So I really want to use the June Bug Purple Lip Kit. So I'm going to keep it quite neutral with the eye look. I'm not too exactly sure what I want to do. But I do want to use this yellow shade here called Pina Colada. And I think I'm going to use that as my transition shade because I want it to sort of like peek through in the eyeshadow look and not be too intense. So for that, I'm just going to be using my usual E23 brush by Morphe and just pick up the shade Pina Colada and apply that into my crease and blending it upwards towards my brow bone so it can act as my transition shade. And this is also my first time using this palette. So I'm super excited to try it out and see how I like it. Okay, so there's a tiny bit of kickback in the palette. I love how easy it's blending out. And the pigmentation is pretty good as well. It's not too crazy and intense, but I didn't want it to be like that anyway as I'm using it for my transition shade. And now for my quiz, I'm going to be using the brush that comes inside the palette and using the more fluffier side. And I'll just be picking up this brown neutral shade here and it's just called Spray Tan. And I'll be applying that into my crease. I do like the brush that comes in the Royal Peach palette. So let's see how this brush goes. It looks like a good brush, so hopefully it works good. Okay, so far I'm really liking this palette. The mattes are quite pigmented and they're blending out really easily as well. So I'm just going to further deepen up the eye look. And I'll just be using the other side of the brush that comes in the palette. And I'll be picking up this darkest brown shade up here called Palm Tree and just applying that directly into the crease. So now with the fluffier side of the brush, I'll be mixing the two shades I used in the crease, so spray tan and palm tree, and I'll just be blending out my crease shades, just so they blend in together a bit more seamlessly. Okay, and now I'm going back in with my Morphe E23 brush and the shade Pina Colada and just applying that in my transition shade area again just to bring back a bit of the yellow and blend everything together. And just again going back in with spray tans and into my crease. Now for the lid, I'm going to be using a shimmery shade. And with the shimmery shades, Kylie did say it's best to use them wet. So you can use a setting spray, spray your brush with, and then go in with the shimmery shade and then apply it to your eyes so it's a little bit wet and it comes out more pigmented. You can always use them dry. They just won't come out as pigmented. I personally always use shimmery shadows with my MAC Fix Plus or any spray like my Badesco Rosewater Spray or you can use any spray you like because I love when my eyeshadows are extra pigmented, extra metallic and extra shimmery. So I always use my shimmery shades wet regardless. But some people aren't really liking the fact that you have to spray your brush for it to come out super pigmented because I think that they feel like you shouldn't really have to create a palette that isn't that pigmented if you know what I mean and where you have to use like something else to make that product better if that makes sense don't know if it did but i do agree i feel like you should make the eyeshadows really pigmented to begin with you shouldn't have to use something else to make it better but personally it doesn't really bother me that much because i always use my mac fix plus anyway okay so i've just wet my 234 brush by weaver with a bit of my mac fix plus and i'm just going to be going in with this third shade on the bottom right here called paradise and i'm just going to be applying that all over my lids
And now just with a more precise shader brush, this is a 238 Relax Precise Shader Brush by Zoeva. I just sprayed it with my MAC Fix Plus as well. And I'm just going to be going in with this second shade up here called Summer 17 and just applying it to the center of my lids just to bring a bit more dimension to the eyes. I actually really like the look of that and you can see the difference between the eyes. This one just looks a bit more brighter. And now just with no additional shadow, I'm going back in with the brush that comes in the palette and picking up the more pointed, less fluffy side and I'm just going to be blending out the crease just so there's no harsh line with that lid shade. And I'm actually going to go back in with the fluffy side and pick up the spray tan and palm tree and just apply that into my crease again. Okay, so now I'm just going to clean up the edges of my eyes with a makeup wipe and then I'm just going to do my face off camera so just my foundation concealer and face powder and primer of course just because i want this video to be mainly focused on the vacation collection and i'm pretty much just do the same face routine anyway in all my videos so i don't want to bore you guys so i'm just going to quickly do that off camera and i'll be right back okay so i've also just contoured my face and now i'm just going to be moving on to bronzer i'll be going in with the skinny dip palette and look at how pretty this packaging is it just looks like melting ice cream to me and i think it's so beautiful i think she did an amazing job with the packaging for the entire collection but yeah this is just the palette and as you can see it comes with a highlight as well and then that's the bronzer there and I'm just going to be going in with this bronzer it's called Sunkist and I'll just be using my E2 brush by Morphe and this bronzer seems a bit more satin and a bit more shimmery than the usual bronzers I go for I usually use like a matte bronzer but this is a bit more satiny so let's see how I like this one This bronzer isn't really dark and as you can tell I have a fair skin tone so usually bronzers are quite dark on me but this one I felt like I kind of had to work with it a bit more to intensify and make it a bit darker so if it's not that dark for me I don't really think it's going to work well with like tan skin tones and darker skin tones because it's not that dark and it's a bit more cool tone as well. The finish of it is pretty nice though so I don't have any complaints about that. It's just that if you have darker skin tone, this bronzer probably won't work really well for you. So now we're moving on to highlight and you guys know I'm serious about my highlight and my glow. I love an intense highlight and for this I'll of course be going in with the wet set. You guys, this product looks incredible. The swatches look amazing. It looks amazing on other people as well. I haven't swatched it yet. I haven't touched it. I wasn't able to get this like in the first go, but I was so happy that they restocked it because I needed this in my life because the intensity looks incredible. And I am so excited to finally be able to try it out myself. This is just the shades on the inside. As you can see, there's light to dark. And then there's like a more of a pinky tone one there. And the shade I'll be going in with is this top one here called Privacy Please. It's the lightest one. But I'm quickly just going to swatch it because it kind of seems like a cream highlight to me. But I've seen a lot of people just use it with a brush. So I don't know if I should use it with my finger or my brush. So I just want to see the intensity of it. So let's just quickly give it a swatch. Oh my god. Oh my god. It feels so creamy. Look at it. It's so intense. Oh my god. You guys, look at that highlight. Let's just quickly give it a swatch on the arm. Oh my god, do you guys see that? And the mirror in here is actually pretty nice as well. It looks like a good quality mirror. So for my highlight, I'll be going in with my Anastasia A23 brush. I always spray my brush with Fix Plus, but with this, I don't know if I should because it's kind of got like a creamy feel to it. No matter how pigmented a highlight is, I still always spray my brush with Fix Plus. That's just what I do. But with this, because it's a bit of a creamy texture, I don't know if I should. So I think I'm going to go in with it first with no Fix Plus. And then if I want, I will go in with Fix Plus and then apply more. So yeah, I'm just going to be going in with the shade Privacy Please and just apply applying it to my cheekbones, above my lip, on my nose, and a tiny bit on my chin as well, and on my forehead too. Okay, I definitely do think you should either apply this with your finger or with Fix Plus on the brush, because it is a creamy texture. It doesn't really pick up on the brush as well. So I'm just going to spray my brush with Fix Plus. That's actually amazing. It's so much more pigmented than her highlighters. They need a bit more love when you want it this intense, but this... Wow. The only thing I see with it so far is that when I look straight, 
you can kind of see a line but i don't know if you can see there's kind of like a streak there but then once i turn to the side you get a really good glow so Well, it definitely applies amazing with your finger. Look at that. Oh my god. Kind of got to blend that out a bit and I don't usually have to do that. I really want to try this wet set one day like underneath my powder foundation like just applying it with my finger just to see if it will give you that inner glow sort of look but honestly this palette just look at that intensity it literally speaks for itself but because you know me I'm a bit extra I really don't need more highlight than this like this is perfect but just so I can use a bit more products from this collection I'm just going to be going in with the ultra glow loose highlight and this is in the shade Santorini. I believe this is the lightest one. First of all, I think she could have done a bit better with the packaging of this because it's just like this plastic nude sort of look. I feel like it would have been really nice if this was clear and that way you could see the shade on the inside. So this time I'm going to go in with my Morphe M501 brush and spray it with a little bit of my MAC Fix Plus and just apply that Santorini shade on my cheekbones. I'm not going to apply it anywhere else because I really don't need any more highlight. I just really want to test out this product and see how good it is. Oh my god, that's so amazing. You guys, if you want to blind people, this is a combination to go with. Kylie really hit it with these highlights in this collection. If you don't like her highlighters, definitely give these a go if she either makes them a permanent product or if she restocks them because I'm pretty sure they're sold out at the moment. But the intensity of these highlights is honestly insane and really truly amazing and now for blush i'll just be going in with my tarte amazonian clay 12 hour blush in the shade seduce and i'll be applying it with my morphe m530 brush okay so now we're going back into the eyes and just finishing them off so i'm just going to be going in with my with a smudger brush and picking up that darker shade palm tree again and just smudging it along my lower lash lines And then I'm just going back in with the brush that comes in the palette and using the less fluffy side. And I'm just going to be going in with the shade Spray Tan again and just smoking out my little lash line. Now I'm just going to go back in with the shade Pina Colada and just applying it in my transition shade area with my E23 brush by Morphe again. Just so I can bring back a bit of that yellow. And now just to highlight my inner corners and brow bones, I'll be going back in with the Ultra Glow in the shade Santorini and just applying it on the inner corners and my brow bones. And I'm just using my Zoeva 238 brush, sprayed with a bit of my MAC Fix Plus. And I'm just going to blend out that hush line with my Zoeva 224 brush. And I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and then apply my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara to my top lashes only. just off camera I'm quickly going to apply the flutter lashes in the style provocative and then I'm just going to apply my mascara to my bottom lashes and I'll be right back okay so now that I've just applied my lashes I'm just going to quickly set my face using my MAC fix plus prep and prime spray and now for the final step which is the lips I'm so excited to be using this lip kit this is the June bug lip kit of course created for this vacation collection can we just take a moment for this packaging like I love the whole nude and gold theme going on in here I think it looks amazing and then that's just the back just the usual lip kit packaging but sadly mine got crushed so at the bottom it's a little bit teared not the biggest still in the world but I was a bit upset because this is a limited edition packaging and I just love this packaging and then to receive it broken and ripped like this it wasn't even like this it was like out like it was really ripped so that was a bit sad and upsetting and then this is just the color look at how pretty this packaging is I love 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 the matte and the nude it looks honestly so amazing and then that's just the liner so yeah I'm just going to be lining my lips with the lip liner first and then filling it in with my liquid lipstick And it's still got that amazing smell. I love the smell of her lip kit.
Look at the shade. It's like a really bright purple neon and it's literally perfect for summer if you want like a really bright color. I actually really like this shade. I'm just going to overline my lips a little bit more. Okay, so I hope you liked that tutorial. So I kind of gave you a mini review on all the products throughout the video, but I'll just give you sort of a rundown on what I thought on everything. So firstly, the eyeshadow palette. I think the shades are so beautiful on the inside. I think the packaging itself is amazing. The mirror inside as well is great quality. It's not like a cheap mirror. It's actually really good. So if you are traveling and you happen to take this palette with you, you can literally just use this mirror because it's so clear and a great mirror. The shadows I used were very pigmented. The mattes were so beautiful. They blended so easily. They were super pigmented as well. And the shimmer shades were really pretty as well. And as I mentioned throughout the video, she did say in order to get an extremely pigmented shadow with the shimmer shadows, it's better to use the shadows wet. But for me, I always spray my brush with Fix Plus anyway, so it's not that big of a deal to me. Honestly, I think this palette's amazing. And if you guys want another tutorial using it, please let me know and I can definitely do one. Now moving on to the Skinny Dip Bronze and Highlight Duo. I didn't use the highlight in this. Let me just quickly swatch it because I'm really interested. Oh, it feels so silky. That is a really pretty highlight. It's really gold, so it might be too dark for my skin tone. But I did use the bronzer, and I really liked it. It's a bit more cool tone. It's not too orange for my skin tone either. But I feel like if you have a darker complexion, then it may be too light for you. And then moving on to the wet set, you guys. I love this. I'm so happy I got it. Again, the quality of the mirror in this is really good. And just take a look at these shades. Like, it literally feels so silky. I can't even, like, explain it to you guys. It feels like a cream. But then when you apply it, it's just like powder. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just so smooth and creamy. It's so beautiful. And it's much more pigmented than her ordinary highlighters. I did use it on my cheeks today. I used the shade Privacy Please, as you would have seen. I just love this palette, and I hope she makes a permanent product because I know a lot of people did miss out. A plus for this, and just the packaging is so beautiful as well. And now with the Ultra Glow Loose Powder, I really like this. This is intense. You can use this on its own, or you could use the wet set on its own. I just used them together because I wanted to use more products in this video. But this is so pigmented. The only thing I would have changed about this is probably the packaging. I love how she creates all her packaging. Like, all her packaging is amazing. I feel like if she at least made this clear and then just had her gold like writing on top, it would have looked much nicer. But the actual product is incredible. And then moving on to the lip kit I'm wearing at the moment, which is June Bug again. Can we just take a moment for this packaging? Like, it just looks so pretty with the nude and the matte. It was a tiny bit patchy, I feel. And I think the lip liner is just a tiny bit darker than the actual liquid lipstick. But the color is so beautiful. It's amazing for summer if you want, like, a bright neon lip color. And as you guys know, I love her lip kit formulas. And what I didn't use in this video, I really wanted to use it, but I wanted to keep the lips just with this lip kit. But... She did release two glitter glosses, and then I love the lips she's got on the side. I think it's such a cute touch, but this is just what it looks like. She did like packaging for the inside as well, and it just looks so cute. But yeah, that's about all I have to say about this collection. I hope you guys liked this video and learned something from it. And if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. And also, please subscribe down below if you are new to my channel. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!